BBC. Hello, I'm Christian Fraser. This is The Context. I resigned from Cabinet today because I said I would if there was any adverse finding from this inquiry, and I'm true to my word, politicians should be. But I do think it sets a very dangerous precedent. Well, the big question for the Prime Minister is why he was so weak to appoint him in the first place. The second question for the Prime Minister is why he didn't sack him? Donald Raab always set the highest of standards when he was uh, just the secretary, demanding that his department work really hard on people's priorities. And he also set the highest standards in terms of the threshold for his resignation. Welcome back. The Justice Secretary and Deputy Prime Minister has gone, but he's gone not willingly. In an unrepentant resignation letter today, Mr Raab said he wanted to keep his word that he would stand down if the report found against him, but he claims the process was flawed and that it sets a dangerous precedent. We will discuss that further tonight with our panel, the global trade expert Rebecca Hardy, and from California, the Republican Lenny Chen, who was policy director for Mitt Romney's presidential campaign. And we could hardly have a better panel for our deep dive tonight into the profound changes 